the mocktail lovers. Are you struggling at home to make the perfect mocktail? Maybe you went to a restaurant or a bar and they made you something beautiful and you wanted to replicate it at home. You got all the ingredients, but you just thought, or you thought you got all the ingredients and it just is not turning out and you don't know why. Or maybe you're trying to create recipes of your own and they're just not hitting and you're just not sure what is going on. Well, in today's video, I have six tips to the perfect mocktail. So stay with me. Tip number one, start with a great base. Every good mocktail, every good dish starts with a great base. So if you're playing around with non-alcoholic spirits and you happen to have two on hand, try splitting those as your base for your drink. If you're not using non-alcoholic spirits, no problem. Try using something like coconut water and Earl Grey tea as your base or any of your favorite teas split with even maybe an interesting fruit juice like passion fruit. Tip number two, use fresh ingredients whenever possible. Absolutely juice your citrus juice, your lime juice, your lemon juice. Use fresh herbs whenever possible. It's going to make a huge difference in how your mocktails turn out. Tip number three, use interesting ingredients. Do not be afraid to experiment. Mix sweet and sour together. Mix, add some spice, add some bitters for some complexity. Use rose water or orange flower water to add a floral note. Get crazy, get weird. Play around, it'll be fun. Just don't be boring. Tip number four, pay attention to presentation. How your mocktail looks is almost as important as how it tastes. It's part of the whole experience. So use pretty or interesting glassware. Garnish that mocktail, garnish it with fresh herbs or slices of fruit or citrus twists. Get yourself a channel knife so you can get really good at those twists or get yourself some cocktail umbrellas or cocktail picks. Some cocktail cherries are always a beautiful garnish. Also dried fruit and dried flowers, fresh flowers. Or another good way to make a mocktail look pretty is to use like sugar and salt rims. There's lots of colors out there and sparkles and there's a myriad of ways to make that drink look pretty. And it's all part of the experience. And have fun with it, make it pretty. Tip number five, think about texture. Adding some sort of element of something outside of what we're used to consuming is going to make that mocktail even better. Think about using coconut milk or things to make it creamy or using aquafaba to make it frothy and creamy. Also using anything with fizz, not an alcoholic champagne or sparkling water or sparkling wine to give it that fizziness and that bubble. Um, shaking your mocktail is going to be key to getting a good cold texture as well. I think that covers us on Texture, it's important. Mouthfeel. Tip number six. Last but not least, tip number six, aromatics. This is often overlooked, but it's really important because it's half of how we experience anything we taste is through our sense of smell. So there's a lot of ways you can impart aromatics into your mocktails. A lot of it has to do with all the ingredients you've already put in there, say bitters or orange. We talked about orange flower water and rose water. Those are going to add some nice aromatics. But if you want additional aromatics, a floater of something on the top or say some bitters just on the top of the mocktail or whatever you're using for your garnish, whatever fruit that is, citrus, also, you can use an atomizer or a spray to sort of perfume your mocktail with something interesting, like, what's interesting? Lavender, lavender is interesting. Oh, you can use an atomizer to spritz a little bit of lavender water on top of your mocktail for added aromatics. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please subscribe. And if you'd like to see more videos about mocktails, check these out here. And we will see you in the next video. Cheers.